Hi Dr. Sandeep, one of my close friend recently got lung cancer. How is it diagnosed and what is the best treatment of lung cancer? Well, it's very interesting that you know you are interested to know how it is diagnosed. Lung cancer very often comes in a very late stage. You know why? It's because there are no clear-cut symptoms for lung cancer. So if you ask me a simple question as to how to diagnose it, it is only being aware of who should be looking for lung cancer. Now, who are these people who are vulnerable? The people who are most vulnerable are the smokers. The ones who smoke quite a lot of cigarettes per day are the ones who are prone to lung cancer. Now, all these people, there is a calculation for it. You know, we say about 30 pack years. So there is a way to calculate it, but it's better that you consult a doctor before you take a call. But if you are a smoker, it is advisable that you start doing a screening CT scan of the lungs once in a year after the age of 55 or say 50. So that will reduce your risk of diagnosing lung cancer much later than what it can be cured. So it's very important that a vulnerable population diagnoses or goes for screening CT scans. Apart from this, when do you really get a warning? You know, when do you run to a, for the diagnosis or suspect lung cancer? is when you start getting cough which is not resolving over 20 days it is persistent it is not going away or there is blood in your sputum so you cough up some amount of small quantity of blood or you have chest pain which is not resolving you know it's there it's just not going away so these are some of the common symptoms which should not be ignored and a suspicion of lung cancer should be made also very important thing to remember and very often missed is that you know very often people diagnose or even doctors diagnose a lung cancer as TB and start treating it as TB and only to realize after few months that it is not TB. So it is very important that even a physician has a high degree of suspicion when they are treating any ailment related to lung suspect lung cancer and you are likely to do better. Most of the patients of lung cancer have symptoms like cough, blood in sputum, weight loss, loss of appetite, fever. So these patients generally go to a physician or a pulmonologist for an opinion. They are initially evaluated and treated for a infection. So the most common infection in India is tuberculosis. So most of the patients are diagnosed as tuberculosis and treated for tuberculosis. So if these symptoms are not subsiding or the patient is not getting better even after treatment in two to four weeks, then we should think of evaluating these patients for underlying lung tumors. So majority of the patients will be treated by a physician or a pulmonologist for tuberculosis for many months before they uh, are diagnosed with a lung cancer and then referred to an oncologist. The problem with this is most of the patients will be in advanced stage because of the delay in the treatment. So coming to the treatment of lung cancer, there are different stages of lung cancer. Generally stage 1 and stage 2 lung cancer require a single modality of treatment in terms of either a surgery or radiation. And stage 3 requires a multi-modality treatment in terms of a combination of chemotherapy, radiation therapy and surgery. And stage 4 generally is a treatment will be in terms of palliative chemotherapy or targeted therapy. So the best treatment for stage 1 and stage 2, I would put it as either surgery or radiation. And for stage 3, as I told you, it will be a combination of uh, treatment. So it's multimodality treatment that is the best treatment for that stage. And for stage 4, chemotherapy or targeted therapy will be the best modality of treatment. So whenever a patient is suspected with lung cancer, the usual tests which we do for diagnosing lung cancer is we start with a basic simple chest x-ray. Then if there is something abnormal on a chest x-ray, then we go ahead with the advanced modalities of investigation like a CT scan or a PET scan. So some patients like smokers who have high risk of developing lung cancer and if they have these kind of symptoms then we might ask for a CT scan instead of a chest x-ray because such patients have high risk for lung cancer and chest x-ray might miss many of the small lesions. The CT scan which we do in lung cancer is a high resolution CT scan 
so basically it takes thin sections of the uh, entire lung so that we don't miss even the smallest of the lesions and if there is any doubtful lesion on the CT scan then the next test which will be done is either an FNSE or a biopsy. A biopsy is always preferable compared to an FNSE. So what is biopsy or an FNSE wherein we take small part of the tissue for testing it under the microscope. So how is FNSE different from biopsy? FNSE we study only the cells. In biopsy we study the entire tissue. So it has ad certain advantages in types of telling us what type of cancer it is and also in case if any additional uh, test in terms of immunohistochemistry is required we can always do it on a biopsy which is not possible on an FNAC. So after this investigation if required we can ask for a PET CT scan to stage the lung cancer to see if it has spread anywhere else or if it is only limited to the lung. The other investigation which we do in workup for lung cancer is bronchoscopy. So I told you that a part of tissue is required for examination. So this can be done either by CT scan guidance wherein we put a needle from outside and take a part of the tissue or this can also be done by a bronchoscopy wherein we put a endoscope through the nose, get into the respiratory tract and then take a small part of the tissue for studying it under the microscope. So bronchoscopy is also required for workup for surgery. So if you are diagnosed with lung cancer as workup and surgery is suggested as a modality of treatment, as workup for surgery we might do certain more tests in terms of a pulmonary function test and a bronchoscopy. A pulmonary function test is basically done to assess whether after surgery you will have any respiratory symptoms, so whether your lungs are sufficient enough to function adequately after surgery.